And we are live. Here for the decision as Chaz Battleborn, better known as Rocco, is going to make his choice as to which fighter class he's going to pick. So we're it's, actually. Uh, oh, go ahead. It's lovely to be here. Thanks. That's right. Now let's go to the studio where our roving reporter is standing by with Chaz Battleborn. So, Chaz, how you doing tonight? Hey, I'm, uh, I'm just happy to be here. I just want to say that. I'm just happy to be here. That's right. You're going to give 110%. Uh, 110%. That's all I can give. That's right. That's right. Now, uh, <laughs> I just looked at the screen. Um... So it is a weighty decision that is pressing down upon your shoulders here tonight. Yeah, it was certainly one that I couldn't make in the moment. I feel like I really needed to afford as much time and thought and energy to it to make the right kind of decision for myself. It's true. You've been called uh, in the past, I believe, the thinking man's fighter. And mm -hmm. certainly you have demonstrated that with remarkable aplomb in terms of coming to terms with this decision. Yeah, I'd like to think that I gave this decision 110%. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's important. It's the only way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to leave it all out in the cave, as that, it were. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I'm afraid uh, we have a question from the studio audience, and um, they're asking why Bahama is not here, and I'm afraid he has been devoured. Um, Bahamut no longer exists. I have murdered him and destroyed him. Um, I'm afraid that your world is going to be redefined as nothing but living pain throughout all of eternity. So, in the future, uh, please do not ask things about Bahamut, or you will die. Okay? And, yeah, that would be and upsetting. Those, those are my warhounds in the background, so you understand that you are not mm -hmm. to trifle with them. Isn't that right, Chaz? That's right. Watch out for rocket dogs. They are on the prowl. Yeah. So you had four choices. You had four options. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. right. So let's discuss each of these choices, these options. Weigh the pros and cons as we kind of work through your decision, because obviously this is not going to be some two-minute affair. Oh, I should hope not. No. That's right. This... This also deserves 110%. It does. It does. You you tell him, dog. Mm hmm All right. So, there are four options. Number one, let's take a look at um, my personal favorite, the Paladin, the Holy Warrior, okay? Mm hmm All right. A force for goodness, light, joy, and justice in the world, right? Yeah, absolutely. Gains the yeah. ability to cast white magic spells of levels 1 through 4. An mm -hmm. impressive intelligence boost. Indeed. Nine whopping spell charges per level. Tell us about the Paladin. The Paladin, uh, I gotta say, out of the gate, that was probably in my top for what I was leaning towards. It, it really seemed to have the most benefits... Uh, now, hang on. In, Let me pause you there for just a second. Yeah, yeah. Now, out of the... I just want to point this out, everybody. Out of the four choices, Paladin was one of his top four choices. All That's right. right. Definitely That's in the right. top four. Definitely in the top four. All right, go ahead. Yeah. So, it uh, it was definitely up there. Um, maybe even in the top two, I would say. Um, That's my I, personal airship, just uh, bringing in the delivery of more Warhounds. Right. Uh, you can never have enough Warhounds. That's right. Um, so, with the Paladin, I really, really liked the the spell charges. And the wouldn't. Right. Um, the added self-sufficiency. Um, I, I really felt like that would be a class that would be able to do a lot of good even in situations where they had to fly solo per se mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. uh, um, for me some of the negatives that I I saw within the class 
uh, that intelligence boost comes with minimal effect in game near as I could tell. Um, it wouldn't really add to what I could leave on the court, as it were. Um, I could certainly legitimately play a much smarter character That's out right. on, on the field, make better decisions. That's right. Switch um, from the keggers to the wine coolers. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Up my game. Yeah, no longer be Chaz Battleborn, but perhaps Chester Battleborn. Perhaps. Yeah. Um, I don't want to pretend like I could aspire to such heights, but um, that was definitely Only one of the... Only a select few can pull off the Chester. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I don't know that I'm that level, for sure. But it was. it's definitely one of those that's up there, uh, as far as uh, classes, for sure. All right, so that's Paladin. Now, why don't we take a look at... Um, Perhaps one of the overlooked options, but certainly one that is almost like a team-building exercise in and of itself. The Knight. Oh, yeah. Now, with the Knight, of course, you have that special ability to not just guard a man, but to do it for two rounds in a row. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing. And you even get the hit points to survive the massive damage you'll be taking. Yeah. So um, tell us about the knight. Being a giant sack of hit points mm -hmm. has its appeal. I know. Um, I happen to be a giant sack of hit points myself. It's, I gotta imagine it's one of the greatest feelings in the world just to run around and feel nigh invincible because that if someone hits is. you, it ain't gonna kill you. Mm -hmm. um, no matter your absorb. So, um, oh, don't worry. That's hefty as well. Well, yes, of course, um, unless you were to get crit or fight, like, say, those damned, what were they? Was it the zombie dragons that I, I fought through to get to this point mm -hmm. that ignored the uh, the armor? That was that was rough. Um, so, yeah, giant sack of hit points. Um, the negatives from the night, if I remember correctly, I wouldn't be able to swing a sword nearly as well. Um, I'm... I don't want to say I'm proud of my sword abilities, but I do feel I sword pretty well. It's true. As a fighter, you're good at everything. Sword, sword and mm -hmm. shield, axe, axe and shield, sword, yeah. axe and shield. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. I can't forget the sword, axe and shield. Mm -hmm. um, so I felt that the negatives there with the attack and the, the decrease in my uh, output, if you will, was something that I had to weigh heavily before I, I pulled the trigger on night. Yeah. All right, that's certainly understandable. Now, we can flip the script, as it were, and go in pretty much the exact opposite direction uh, with our third option. Uh, certainly a man after my own heart, the Berserker. Mm. Now, this is a, a class that eschews... Uh, the idea of traditional defense and even the idea of traditional attacking in that you actually would have the ability to temper yourself to increase your own mm -hmm. damage as the fight went on and I believe that you have uh, that you have tussled with a berserker in the past indeed uh, okay. I did meet one um, she impressed me to no end mm -hmm. um, the noted the hand ha devourer Noted ham devourer. Yeah. Um, Let's talk about the berserker oof. and your thoughts there. The berserker was a very tasty option for me. Um, it, the appeal of being someone that got more damaging as the fight went on, um, merely by continuing to attack. No no delays in when this damage boost would come in. It was just bam, and then bam, and then bam. And then suddenly I'm hitting like a goddamn dragon. Mm -hmm. That's that's appealing. That's, that's definitely appealing. Uh, if I remember correctly, the, the biggest downside to me, as you have mentioned previously, I, I do like to think of myself as a thinking man's fighter. And there is a decrease in intelligence that would make me feel like I couldn't 
legitimately play myself nearly as well as I have played and make the smart decisions in the battles and perhaps even the diplomatic choices that I have made in my career on the court. It does make sense you would uh, turn out to be a little more vicious, a little more mm -hmm. battling as opposed mm -hmm. to the uh, the thought process that you generally go through now. For sure. It, it does not feel like what would fit my personality. I'm not going to lie. Certainly understandable. Certainly understandable. So that leaves us with the fourth option. Um, certainly one that has a lot of excitement to it, I feel. Um, the Dragoon. Mm -hmm. Because what yes. you have with the Dragoon is you have, you have jumping, mm -hmm. you have flying on the backs of dragons. Yeah, yeah. You don't have the magic of the Paladin, which is unfortunate. It's really the biggest For drawback sure. of the Dragoon. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, it does seem to be an impressive class, an interesting class. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the Dragoon and your thoughts there? The Dragoon is another one of those that really appealed to me. It appealed to me on a lot more levels, I'm going to say, than the Berserker. Um, the, the idea of uh, having, you know, what could amount to my own personal airship. Um, I can't remember if you can fit another rider on the back or even if it's just solo that's still that's going to give you some options that you know other classes aren't going to have mm -hmm. um the leap ability the jumping that's appealing um even if it is delayed because if i'm not mistaken can't jump on the first round that's correct cannot jump then, on the first round and can't jump the round after landing and yeah, and then you don't land until the following round after you've leapt, of course. So it's, it's, true. Certainly... it's a little bit of the least tanky option as a fighter because you're it actually is. essentially removing yourself from combat for two rounds at a time, leaving your squishy counterparts to take the brunt of the assault. Yes, this is the truth. Um, and it's one of those things that as a fighter, as someone who is trained in cover and in um, blocking, it really, it definitely has that, that twist to it where it isn't as appealing just purely due to the fact that I remove myself from the combat. That's, that's, uh, it does hurt my, my sensibilities a little bit, not going to lie. That certainly makes sense, certainly makes sense. So, those are the four options. Now, what I want to do now is, I want, of those four options, I want you to eliminate one right now. Just take one, throw it to the ground, it's gone. All right, uh, right now, looking at everything, I gotta say, this would have fit the personality that I've developed the best, but I really just feel like it gives me so many fewer options in the in the field that I'm going to throw Knight out right he's, now. He's throwing Knight out. Chaz Battleborn right here tonight live saying he will not be a Knight. That is correct. There will be no I, Sir Rocco. No Sir Rocco. Mm -hmm. All right. So that leaves uh -huh. us with three options, and I want to take a moment here and just... Um, just kind of reflect here on the three options that remain the paladin the berserker and the dragoon so you've discarded knight you've discarded the defensive option i have discarded the defensive option but in a way paladin is also sort of a defensive option it just is a more versatile one because you can defend yourself and your comrades with many Indeed. of the abilities of the paladin right um i would like to think that with with a paladin you know I could use my charges post battle to do some of the healing and alleviate some of the uh, the pink maging and the the white maging that happens after the fact um, because I would have the charges that will allow um, their charges to be better used in battle. That certainly makes sense. Let's think about some of those amazing spells that you'd have access to. You'd be able to cast Ruse on yourself. Mm -hmm. You'd be able to cast Invis on your allies. 
You'd True. even be able to cast a mute. Mm-hmm. That, man, that right there ooh, makes me want to pull the trigger. Not going to lie. That's mm -hmm. that's tempting. A mute. Oh, a mute. man. Now, this is a spell that not only can you use it to cure mute, you can use it to prevent mute. You can even cast it on yourself while you are muted to cure yourself of being muted. No one can deny the utility of a mute. Um, right. Those that do are fools, mm -hmm. simpletons, even. That's correct. Um, just, I, it's so hard to to picture a situation where if you have the ability to be able to do that, then why wouldn't you want to do that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. But, um, so we can also look at Berserker again. We can take a look and say, you know, here we are, pure damage. Mm -hmm. When something's got to die, a Berserker's going to make that happen. Yeah. Now, it isn't the same level of burst damage as, say, the Assassin. Well, I mean, the Assassin is... I think we've seen examples in the field where the Assassin is putting down numbers. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. They have to make nigh every other class envious on single target damage. Absolutely. I mean, The Berserker, sure. of course, is sustained damage. This is true. This is true. You you lose some of that. And not that you can't necessarily score a crit, of course, with your attacks, but you do lose that instant wha-bam that you get out of the Assassin in exchange for consistent and improving damage over time. Yeah. That's right. That's that's definitely a strength in the Berserker. Yep. Now, Dragoon has the, uh, of course, leaving battle for two rounds, so you're, you're increasing your survivability. But, of mm -hmm. course, its landing attack also is ignoring the armor of your opponent. Mm -hmm. So you are getting that all-important, critical, Kjokets-style attack. Mm-hmm. And that has been the hallmark of so many of our thieves and assassins over the last few years. For sure. Uh, I've seen a lot of good come from the uh, the use of that. Um, I mean, I'm smart, but pronouncing Koi Kets correctly has never been my strong suit. Um, That's all right. We're not in Eastern style uh, medieval setting. Thank goodness, because mm -hmm. I think I would have had to just uh, kill myself at that point. <laughs> Uh, shame. So, uh, yeah, no one can deny the the thieves that are running around with that weapon and just the impact they have on a battle. Um, essentially, short of enemies that just have outlandish HP, they're instantly able to remove something, and that's that's an impressive. I don't think any damage dealing class can deny the desire for that ability. And there you are, that's Dragoon as well. So mm -hmm. you would actually have not the the speed of it, but you would have the the greater damage weapons along with that ability. So yeah, although your absolutely. attacks would be less frequent, they would be quite powerful, quite potent, if you will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. All right, it's so, definitely something to uh, to consider with all so of this. So three classes remain. Paladin, Berserker, and Dragoon. Chaz Battleborn, eliminate one. I think I'm going to make what may be considered to be a bit of a, a controversial choice here. Mm. Because uh, it's just this is a hard one for me. This is a really hard one for me. Because this is openly admitting that I will never ever get to do something in a battle but I'm going to eliminate Paladin right he now. He's eliminating Paladin right now ladies and gentlemen. Chaz Battleborn issuing the light. Give it up. The power of justice. The Warhounds are angry Chaz. It's... The Warhounds do not approve of this lack of Paladinism in your soul, in your spirit. Yeah. How do you react to that? How do you respond to the criticism of the Warhounds? To the Warhounds, I can only say that 
with the greater view that I've had of some of my compatriots in the field, um, I feel like the Paladin is an area that has been covered, and <laughs> and I I really feel like there is another road that needs further exploration or to begin exploration. So you've uh, you know it's one of those things where I I feel like the warhounds will understand when they see how things will play out in the greater game. 110%. Right. You heard it here first, everybody. He's not going to be a knight. He's not going to be a paladin. Chaz Battleborn, otherwise known as Rocco, is going to be either a berserker or a dragoon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Now, what is it going to be, ladies and gentlemen? What do you at, what do you out home think? Let's, let's check on what's t trending on Twitter right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. Hmm. Um, I'm actually seeing a lot of support for Berserker among some of our uh, some of our Twitter followers out there. Pretty amazing. The level of support for Berserker. Uh, noted social media mogul Baconlicious says mm. that the stakes are raising. Hmm. Yeah. And Damn. Yeah. The grammar and is breaking. It's true. Dano himself says Berserker would make him happy. And that's a two-time Forsaken Labyrinth champion right there saying that he wants to team up with Berserker Rocco. How does that make you feel? Well, I mean, like, uh, you know, it would save spell charges going forward. You know, there wouldn't be any need for a red mage or a black mage to augment my attack I could do it myself mm -hmm. um, those more difficult fights that last those multiple rounds um, it would certainly it would be a worthwhile uh, ally to have absolutely absolutely I can totally understand where they're coming from uh, now, we've got a, a, a new hashtag that's trending on Twitter right now. It's hashtag Paladin was robbed. Mm. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, you're, you're, you've made some people very unhappy here, Chaz. Well, you know, I I feel like i got to do what's right for me. You can't live your life according to what other people want. I, I can't. i got to give myself 110%. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm not giving myself 110%, then I'm shorting everybody else 110%. Man, that's practically 220% that you'd be I'm shorted. Saving, I am saving so much percent in this world. It's true. By not going paladin. It's true. Now, I have to point out, because certainly uh, he will kill us otherwise if I mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's favorite, Excorpion. Mm -hmm. Um is imploring you to pick the secret fifth option and becoming a level one white mage. That's uh, actually yeah. perhaps a black belt. I can't really tell. He's he's all over he's, the place. It does seem like he's a little back and forth. Yeah, he's, Not he's been everywhere, X Scorpion. He's been everywhere. He's done everything. What do you say? What do you say? Go back to level one. Go through it all again. Uh, well, you know, I can't deny, I had a personal tragedy over the past week that really briefly flashed something into my head, and there was a brief moment of time where I thought to myself, maybe I should just re-roll. I, uh, I can start it over. I could... Just put the gun to your head, re-roll it all. Roll it all. Yeah. Re-roll it. Man. Um, but I've worked through this tragedy. All right. I I don't want to say I'm stronger. I think I will always have a piece of me that is missing. But all the same, I I'm not re-rolling. Not re-rolling. Okay. I want to make that clear right all now. All right. I am not re-rolling. He is not re-rolling, ladies and gentlemen. X Scorpion, I'm sorry. He is not re-rolling. 
Do not take it out on either of us. There's nothing we can do about it, okay? Okay. All right, so we're down to two classes, Berserker and Dragoon. Both mm -hmm. seem to have their supporters. All right, Chaz Battleborn. Rocco, mm -hmm. as he likes to be called. That's, uh, you know, I'd like to think it was by given name. I don't right. know anymore. It's fair. It's a fair point. <laughs> All right. Cards on the table. The moment is upon us. Chaz Battleborn. What kind of fighter are you going to be? Well, I've given it lots of thought. Mm -hmm. I absolutely have given it a lot of thought. And going forward, I want to let you guys know that I am absolutely 110% proud to say that I am going to be Dragoon Rocco. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. He is going to be a Dragoon. He is going to fly into the air like he just don't care. That is correct. He is going to ride on the back of a dragon, soaring majestically over all you losers who aren't Dragoons. I've, uh, I've been working on my calves. Um, I've, been, I've been practicing. It's important. I've Do been... not skip leg day when you were a Dragoon. No. No. Leg day is every day. There are no skips. No. Can't lie. I've been been looking forward to this. It's a uh, it's a good day. I'm feeling proud. I'm happy to be here. Looking forward to giving 110. percent That's right. To everybody. Excellent, excellent. I'm very proud. Now, have you given any thought to what color dragon you want to tame? <sighs> hmm. My God, you know, I have given it some thought. I hear blue would be pretty wicked. Blue would be pretty wicked. You rain down electric death on your enemies. Yeah, yeah. There would there would be a lot of electric death. All right, now hang on. I'm actually, uh, uh, hang on. I'm actually getting a, a breaking news bulletin. We're gonna have to cut away from you for just a moment, Chaz. Oh, okay. Yeah, there is actually a conclave of evil that has taken possession of a glowing orb. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, um, I'm afraid that uh, you are needed, Rocco. You are needed, uh, Chaz, in the Sea Shrine immediately. Uh, look at this conclave of evil. They have taken possession of a glowing orb, a glowing crystal. Um, Holy shit. This Tell seems, you what. This seems bad. Oh, my God. This, this seems, seems really bad. bad. This seems really bad. I see. I'm going to ask for one round, then I'm going to give it a 110% leap. All right, excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time we have for Chaz, Rocco Battleborn, The Decision. Thank you for joining us. Good night and good luck.